Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Lico198, House Robber. So this question is really, really popular and one of the uh, simple uh, dynamic programming and is easy to understand. So let's take a look at this question. So the basic idea is now we have input of string, input of integer. So this is array of integer and every uh, index of it is a house. So you can imagine this uh, four house here. And as a robber, you want to rob as much as possible. Um, this number is the money that in the house. But there's one rule that you cannot uh, rob the consecutive house in the same time. So that means you cannot rob one and two or two and three, any consecutive one. So you have you can rob one and three, or two and one, or one and one in this case. The result is one and three is the maximum. So we want to know the maximum number that we can rob in this tree. And another example in here will be two, nine, and one. They're not consecutive, but now you can rob the maximum by going to this route. Uh, that's the answer. So now we can see how can we solve this problem. And we can look at step by step. By stepping on the first house, we can see um, if it, because here's example is non negative integer, right? Money cannot be negative. <laughs> okay. Then see, um, for example, if you don't rob, that's zero. So if you rob this one, it'll be one. So the worst case is this number in this house. Now it will be one. And when we step on the second house, and we'll see second house will be either robbing the first house or second house. So we have to get the maximize of the first place and second place. In here is two. We keep two in here. So in second house, the maximum will be two. So now we take, you can take a look at three. We come to three, we see, should we rob the three? So if we rob three, we cannot, we have to give up this second house, right? So at this place, if we don't rob it, the best case will be two, which is all the money that we can get from second house here, or uh, all the money that you can get from three plus uh, three minus two spot, which is one here. So it's either two or four. So definitely four is the maximum one. We keep four in here. And okay, this is how this spot is. Now we can look at the last spot. So we can either rob uh, one, one plus two step before that. So one plus two would be three or four, which is what you can rob for the previous spot. So it's maximum is four and then we put four in here. And now the last step will be the maximum money that you can rob at the end. And that's the uh, idea and the logic of this question. And let's take a look at the code now. So edge cases will be if nums equal to no or nums.ling equal to zero. And we just return zero, nothing to rob. So if we can start from, because Num we can start from the second place. So i is less than num.ling. So if i is equal to one, which is at the second place, as we know, so num i will be 
man.max to eat the first one or the second one. We are getting the maximum of the first one or second one. So now if it's not number, it's not, I is not one, anything bigger than one, we'll see the current number will be mat.max like the previous one. We can either get the previous one if we don't rob this house, we'll get the previous money from the previous house, which is I is minus one, or the current number, which is num i plus num i minus two. So, or either the current number plus two step before this number, which is the number, the money that came, they can rob from that house, right? And the sum of that two combination compared to the previous one, then that's it for this for loop. And at the end, it should capture the maximum that they can capture for the whole street. So we turn nums, uh, nums.ling minus one, and that should be it. Cool. And that's it for this question. If you have any doubt or any questions, please comment it below. And I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, until we see you next time. Right, bye.